Hey guys, before we start, could you guys do me a little bit of a favor? Could you guys comment below if you like the editing style I'm doing? I know the video doesn't really fit with the editing style because I didn't I didn't intend to edit this video at all, but I was just playing around with it and I'm like, oh, I could just edit my videos now. I mean, I'm a bit more confident now and less scared of doing it and the judgment I would get and all the fears and anxieties. Anyways, I'm better now, so if you guys could leave a comment telling me if you like it or not, what I can improve on and just critique in general that would really help also sorry that the audio is really bad i don't know what happened i try to fix it as much as i could but it, it, it's I, I i couldn't even tolerate it for a while there anyways on to the videos hi guys it's luna and welcome back to another video now Artists can mean several things to several different people. Definition wise, it could be either professional or hobby. For most people, it just is a general term you can use for any type of self-expression. It doesn't have necessarily have to be under the classification of creativity or art form. Whatever you consider your art, it could be literally shitting on a wall and people would be like, you know, that's that person's art. That's how that person chooses to express themselves. I take this word very seriously. I, in my opinion, in my opinion, I consider artistry a job and I want to argue for why I consider it a job and why I don't really look at people who don't do it professionally as artists in a lot of times. And again, this is just my opinion. I'm not going to cancel anybody if they're, they consider themselves an artist and they do two doodles. I don't care. I'm not going to hate on anybody for them not fitting to my standards of art. This is just my opinion. I could be wrong. I I could, you could disagree, it's just my opinion. I just have to say that before this. And we're gonna deal with a few other grievances I have with the art community in general. Now let's start with being an artist. <laughs> In my opinion, some of you bitches ain't artists. You are people who draw as hobbies. And that's not something to be ashamed of. You shouldn't be ashamed that you just like drawing sometimes. I, I'm not an artist. I'm gonna be 100 with you. I don't see this as being a career. And I know the first thing this is like, well, I'm an artist because I do commissions. Doing commissions does not make you an artist. I'm gonna put that out there. You know why? Because it's not your career. Just because you make money doing something does not mean that's a career. I could sell my old nasty t-shirt on eBay claim I washed it, send it off to someone, does that mean that I'm a seller? Does that mean I'm doing shit like Amazon? I'm making product? No! I just had a gross shirt and sent it to somebody because I needed a little extra change and I wasn't going to use that shirt anymore. That's not how that works. Even eBay sellers, that's not a career, that's just a name they give people who sell shit on eBay. I'm not Amazon, I'm not Jeff Bezos doing drop shipping, right? I'm not doing any of that. I just sold something and made money off of it and that's how some of you guys treat this. It's not like I'm doing commissions is how I want to do it professionally and all that and I get that some people can't do it professionally yet. I'm not knocking you for that. I'm just telling you that I don't think you're an artist. I just don't see it like that. Half of y'all don't take it seriously. I look at some of your Twitters where you be doing the art and your Instagram and y'all just be reckless with how you're talking. How is this a business to you? How is this a career to you but you're not even taking it seriously? How is it a career to you but it's all touch and go and as soon as you get cancelled or something happens because of something that you said or something that you didn't think about before you act you can just leave you wouldn't just leave your career y'all don't take us that seriously we don't we, we act like we take it so seriously and we all want to be artists and like fucking touch the youtube artists act like they're so above everybody half y'all can't do something outside of your art style and the anime-esque art style or the cartoony-esque art style you've never even dabbled in any other self-expression or at least something that would fall into the category of art like in an art class ever but maybe except for in art class you've never done anything else like that but you swear to god you're an artist half y'all still can't get faces right and that's me included i hate calling myself an artist because i'm like i i don't do this for a living i don't even really want to do this for a living i might have to because the only thing i can tolerate but even then i'm finding different things out that i actually start liking so i may not even have to do that but if i were to do it i would go to school for it i get a degree and i'm not saying that you have to do that don't get me wrong you do not have to do that you don't have to go to school you don't have to get a degree it's drawing there's a lot of things in life you really don't need that piece of paper that says I know how to draw a circle. You don't need it. However, comma, you do need to practice. You need to try the other stuff. You need to be doing shit. You can't just be like, well, let me give my unpopular, out of mouth, talking out of the side of my throat opinion, piss everybody off, get a bunch of followers, and then still not know how to 
fucking draw a circle. That's not how that works. You have to at least try. At least, at least try. And not everybody's like this. And this is a controversial opinion. And I'm sure I'm gonna get something for this. I don't care. Because this is just how I feel about it right now. If you want to be an artist, I feel like you have to take it serious care about what you're doing try to improve don't get mad at people when they come to critique you you can't be like i'm an artist and someone shits on your art or says something about your art say they just don't like it or you're a shithead and then pop off at the mouth that's not what an artist would do that's not what a professional would do that's not what someone who has a career that they are living off of or trying to live off would do they either wash it off their back because it doesn't matter because it's someone else else's opinion they would block that person or they might just take the criticism and be done with it like some of y'all i can't take seriously i'm an artist i do art i want to do this that and the third same people be making stuff that if someone like at disney or any type of studios looked at your artwork but then saw your twitter account they'd be like of course we're not hiring them they don't know how to control themselves example vivzy pop she just got something greenlit you know why she didn't get greenlit earlier because of her past shit her shit came up like like that it immediately came up into light because she wasn't taking it seriously back then and i'm sure she was like trying to be an artist at that point but she wasn't taking it seriously back then so she was just saying whatever and doing whatever you do have to be professional in some places you can't just be like well i'm an artist so i can do whatever i want that's how people try to act like it is and then they get in hot water and they wonder what happened don't call yourself an artist if you're not willing to act like an artist. Act like this is your career. Act like you want to make it your career. Act like someone with a clipboard that's about to give you a job is watching you at all times. Do that. If you're not going to do that, then just say you draw. Again, there's nothing wrong with being like, I draw for a hobby. It's just something I like doing. I enjoy this. I'm not going to call myself an artist. And I have before. And I realize I really shouldn't be. Because I'm not taking it as seriously as an artist would. Hell, you seem to become an artist. I'm deleting my Twitter. <laughs> and doing another one. And by the way, this goes for all occupations, to be fair. I can understand some where it's like YouTube. Being a YouTuber, I can understand where that's your occupation and you're kind of touch and go with it because it's like a new form of media. Not too new, but you get what I'm saying, where everything's changing, what it means to be one, what you need to do, what what the standard is, is just like all over the place. You get what I'm saying? But with being an artist, it's been around for years. You know what the standards are, you can follow them. Not saying you have to, it's just my opinion. I feel like I have to keep saying that. This is just my opinion. This is just that's how I feel. I ain't hiring some of y'all. If it was me with the clipboard, I ain't hiring almost any of you are not being hired. You're talented, but you're not professional. <laughs> Tracing. Tracing is a big thing and it's dumb. People who complain and get mad about tracing, it's not that serious. We've blown it up to a thing where tracing equals murder. You have murdered several people if you trace. It's a thing with the internet, period. But let me explain to you people something. If you see someone tracing, call them out and don't give them attention anymore. It's like with several controversial creators that you can think of. The first one you think of when you think of tracing or any type of allegations, that, right? We've been so programmed to just get on that person and talk about it. That's how we get people off the platform as we talk about it. We do this, that, and third. No, because literally doing that, and that's the shit that pisses me off talking about these people. Giving these people attention is what fuels them. And the first thing people will say is, well, they're going to get attention anyways because they're doing it. No, they don't. We have programmed people around us to do exactly what we have done. People do this so much to where that's just the norm. When there's a controversial creator, you follow them immediately because you want to see them fuck up again. You want to see all that bullshit unravel continuously because you know that your other favorite creator will talk about it. So you want to follow it so you know what's going on or you know what's happening or you can correct the creator or whatever. We always do this. So you got people like Lovely Peaches, you got people like Chris Hansen, you got hella other people fucking up doing shitty things or tracing or something like that but then all of a sudden they have hella new followers and it's like i wonder why that happened plus if someone's tracing if someone's doing something like that people who follow them are gonna follow them you giving it more attention does not help and it's like well it doesn't hurt it either okay and like that's not that's not a justification for you giving that person more attention all you're trying to do is get more attention which basically at that point is the pot calling the kettle black they're doing this for 
attention and you're talking about them for attention. You're just doing the exact same thing. It goes around in the fucking circle. I'm sorry I went on a whole other tangent about that, but specifically with tracing, it isn't that serious. It is tracing. Half y'all don't even know what tracing is. Tracing is when you copy or get close to copying something. Usually what happens, especially with the internet and digitally, people literally can just turn down the opacity on a picture and go right over it easily. And in a perfect world, we would love that person credited the base they used. They credited the person they traced. They did that in third, but they're not going to do that. They knew it was bad before they did it. But tracing God gave them attention. I think people do tracing because no one's going to find out. And they're just so, most of the time, either they don't know or they're doing it for attention. And then they end up getting what they want. It's not murder. It's just some attention hungry person trying to get their way. And you're giving it to them. I hate seeing tracing allegations because it's just, whether it's true or not, it doesn't matter. And they trace. If they stole it, report it and let it go. Well, not even sure if you're supposed to exactly report it, but you can either report it, you could inform the artist, but sitting here bullying someone off the internet and then harassing them for the rest of the time and sending other people to harass them. And by the way, the whole warning of don't send harassment towards this person you knew for a fact before you made that damn video or before you made that tweet or before you did this, that, and third, that was what was going to happen. You knew that and you made it anyway. So yes, you are sending harassment towards their way and you have to make that decision as an influencer someone that's a serious artist you need to make that decision of where is this worth it is it worth it whatever you're about to say whatever you're about to do however you're about to demonize that person because i can get if it was a post that was just simply this person's tracing their art isn't theirs don't think that way this is somebody this is whose art this is y'all don't even credit the art original artist when you're talking about this shit it's crazy i can understand if you did that that makes sense but some of y'all act like it is murder. They murdered, traced, traced, they traced it. They are monsters, they're terrible people. We need to stay on their neck because at this point, even after they stop, any form of tracing that we see is going to be reported and they're going to be harassed. And why is there any form of tracing? I mean, hey, it, it kind of looks similar. Hey, they referenced this picture, they're tracing again, and it's like they're not though. And that type of thought process literally sits there and breathes the bullshit of they're still in my post. They stole the red off of that shoe. They stole these shoes that I stole from the internet, that I stole from basically Nike. They stole my shoes. Uh, I put a mole on my face right here on the side of the face. They stole that from me. That's what breeds it. Because you sit there and you go to the extreme and then you have dumb people who don't know any better because you try to simplify it as their monster they shouldn't trace. And then those people sit there and take it from your over exaggeration to the most extreme shit they can think of. And then they start thinking, oh, well, if that's tracing and tracing is murder, then I can now complain about someone stealing this red purse because they're following me and they started putting red purse in this one picture. So obviously they're copying me and, you know, see they're stealing my accessory I told you like that's how it starts that's always how it starts and I get that as youtubers or whatever over exaggeration is just what we do but I'm not gonna lie to you it's irritating it's funny when it's like haha funny joke you're not that serious some of you bitches we can tell by the shit you do afterwards because you made the video and shut up I wouldn't have a problem the stuff you do afterwards you're really taking this seriously tracing copy any of that shit it's not that serious if the much trying to make money off of it, I can understand. If someone's doing this, that, and third, I can understand. But if someone traces a few times, someone with like a hundred followers is tracing, all you gotta do, hey, point it out, make sure people know, and move on. It doesn't need to be any more than that. It doesn't. And some of y'all are just like, no, they traced. They're a terrible person. They can never redeem from it. We're gonna keep, literally, this is gonna be on you for the rest of your life. You're never gonna live this down. And it's like, it's not that serious. It's really not art style oh my god i will blow my brains out y'all are so boring uh, i'm sick of people having like one art style i hate it or like two stop you all guys already bore me i get it some people just like drawing that's cool that's fine i'm personally i only like drawing digitally i like sketching sometimes i do like other outlets but i don't got the money for that right now so i can get liking or preferring one type of art style or etc 
expression of art but like can we can we cancel having one art style please because i feel like people get so constricted to having one art style that i see people like literally criticizing other people for not having consistency in their art style and i'm like why does that matter again half y'all ain't trying to have it as a career and if you had it as a career then it would be consistent but most people are just like i like to draw well it's like oh their art style is consistent or oh you can only get big if you have this consistent art style unless you're selling something unless you're selling something or marketing it as such you do not have to have one art style i've i've seen and i've been recommended too many videos of this is how to find your art style you don't need to find an art style i'm gonna tell you since no one else will you don't need to find an art style if you want to draw cartoons one day and animate the next and then do pottery on the side you can do that you don't have to have one art outlet and one art style you don't need to do that it actually would look better on you portfolio wise people aren't going to tell you this because again people are serious out here portfolio wise it would look better if you had different art styles if you knew how to paint if you knew how to draw if you knew how to, if you knew how to do this that and the third it looks better on your portfolio it opens you up to more things it shows that you can do more things so if you want to be a professional artist or you want to actually work in the field i would personally suggest you draw more shit okay because maybe it's just me and maybe it's just how i look at it and the people i've talked to it looks a lot better for you to do that than you just stay to one consistent art style all the time consistency is fine you can be consistent i don't like being consistent but you can be consistent in one art style mainly like you like drawing the chibi art style the most that's fine but some of y'all can't even draw outside of that because you've been so programmed by the people you listen to on youtube that you take their word for it that you should just only draw like this or not even that that you need a consistent art style to do this that and third you don't need this tight hold of consistency though you don't need to just draw one thing you don't you can draw many different outlets of shit you don't have to be the best at every single thing but show some variety like people just are just so stuck in a fixation of this consistency to like a painful point that i feel like it honestly stunts your growth as an artist you know what i mean again if you want to specifically be a cartoonist i can understand that but even then you don't want to go outside of that you don't even want to try i can get if you don't but i know a lot of you are just like but you know i should just do this all the time right because that makes the most sense you don't have to you can actually venture outside of that and it gets me irritated when i see some people having to announce when they change their art style just a little bit that shows improvement i don't care if everybody in your following is just like well we expected this art style again we've been so programmed to well if it's consistent that means it's good and if you can change it you can be different you can expand your horizons in sense of art and artistry you don't need to stay in this consistent bubble and a lot of people be pushing that type of agenda and i just hate it it's so stupid go out and take a pottery class go paint we're in quarantine still go paint go do a landscape if you're not doing landscapes go do a background if you're not good at doing backgrounds if you're not good at something play around with it and learn people try to make everybody look the same and do the same and shit like that and like just do what you want it's okay to fixate on one specific thing and practice that but when it's to the point where it is the only thing you do it stunts your growth with everything else one day you might be asked hey could you do this or can you paint this or can you do this and you're just like well no i've never learned anything outside of this one genre and this one type of doing this and they're gonna be like oh okay well we'll pass on you you get what i'm saying i'm just saying let me just i wish for more diversity and creativity when it comes to in the art world and with that being said this video is getting kind of long i'm rambling a lot so i'm going to end it here but that's kind of my whole message was you don't need to just stick to one thing you don't need to listen to everybody and what they tell you honestly when it comes to art and being an artist and artistry expand your horizon you don't have to demonize everybody for having some different opinion or being different or doing something maybe that's not looked on something that's not looked upon with favor in the art community you don't need to do all of this just toxic stuff that's just too much you don't need to act like you're higher than everybody you don't need to do all this stuff and just seeing people do this and acting like they're tough shit it's like can you not you know what i mean 
Can you just calm down with it a little bit? If you want to be an artist, in my opinion, you need to have some level of professionalism. You have to have some ounce of standard for not just other people, but for yourself. So the same shit people are telling other people to do, they don't they don't even take their own damn word, but want everybody else to take their word because I'm so great. I got a following on Twitter. And I will say this again. This is all my opinion. This is not all fact. You don't have to take any of what I say in consideration. This is just how I feel and me getting out my feelings. You don't have to do anything. You can click on this video right now and be done with it. Just like all my other opinions, they are my opinion. I'm not forcing them on you in any way, shape, or form. I'm not telling you, here's a good way to be a great artist. I'm just saying how I feel from what I've observe of just looking at this shit. There's a reason I don't go on deviant art and I don't have one. There's a reason I really didn't want to have a Twitter like that. Don't really like having an Instagram. But there's just too much drama and bullshit and people acting like they're holier than thou when it's something. Art has always been a creative outlet for most people. Most people got into art because they want to let their feelings out or they want to go down an artistic adventure. Whatever the case may be, it's now turned into some hellhole where if you are Art isn't cute and aesthetically pleasing. It's garbage. Everybody's gonna tell you you're garbage. And if you make any type of mistake, you're done for. And you will be harassed. And it's just gross and toxic and irritating. And it's just like exhausting to look on any social media with any artists because they suck. Not all of them, but a majority of them suck. But hey, that's just my opinion. If you like this video, like it. If you want to subscribe, you can. As you can see, I have very unpopular weird, irritating, and maybe a little bit hypocritical opinions and I just talk about them because I'm not gonna lie to you not like I don't have fleeting thoughts that sometimes I just want to voice. You know what I mean? You can follow me on all my social it's medias down. below. I will see down. you all it's later. Down. Peace. Down the sky. The sky is falling. Everybody's gonna grab the clouds.